Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are out at the 11 acre field today with the 7600 and the Rhinoag PT419H tether. We are about to ted everything that we had gotten cut yesterday, which is in our previous video. So what we're gonna be tedding today is the 11 acre field, the Klein pasture. We're not gonna be tedding the big pasture because there's not enough grass out there to justify doing so. If we did ted it, all the grass would just kind of go poof and be gone. So we're gonna do that, this, the pasture up front here, and then we're gonna head out and do the strips out at my place of dad's that Travis had cut. Today is day two of trying to kill my GoPro. Today I brought along some handy dandy electrical tape. We're gonna try taping the GoPro to strange and exotic places on the tether. See if we can lose it. Some of you may be thinking that I have too much time on my hands. You'd be correct. It's just like solid dirt, so we're gonna go ahead and tape it straight to the dirt. <laughs> All right, good luck little buddy, you're gonna need it. No cameras were harmed in the making of this video, yet. stuff underneath has a little bit of dampness to it this stuff feels dry to the touch but there are damp spots throughout it so uh, we're trying really hard to make the hay dry uh, we could have wrapped it wet we would have had a lot more bales then uh, optimally for first crop uh, I want to get as much dry material as I can 
because if the weather patterns hold, there's a good chance that I'm going to have a lot of wet material this year because we, we, we don't have a lot of time to make hay. We're already halfway through the month and we haven't made anything, we haven't round built anything yet. So we're getting a little crunch for time because we uh, have just scratched the surface with how much hay we need to make with what we cut yesterday. But uh, tomorrow we're going to come out have a look at it. They are calling for a chance of rain tomorrow. We may make it tomorrow and then the next day wrap them hopefully or move them into the pole shed um, depending on what hay we're talking about i'd like to get all my stuff wrapped before the next rain comes through so it doesn't get get left outside and uh, that way i preserve the hay quality as much as possible so fun fact about the wrapper i did buy the wrapper last month uh, i felt like it was a necessary purchase because i was losing up to 30 percent of my hay to the elements just leaving it sit outside so um, after using the wrapper for the past few years that's one of the reasons I've been able to expand my cow herd like I have um, being able to make the feed last longer um, the cows aren't eating any of the stuff that gets left outside it's it's a lot better for them and I feel like nutrition wise it really helps too because um, it used to be a pretty common thing where I would lose a cow or two over the winter last two years i haven't lost a cow in the winter months so um i feel like the wrapper is a definitely definitely a good purchase so um anyway that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on facebook instagram tiktok and snapchat all how farms work and be sure to stay tuned for our next video when we bail this material so anyway we'll see you next time